Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 4 to the power of t and this equals 4. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, let's make use of the first method. So what we are going to do is, this is negative 4. I can simply have it as negative 1 times 4. So I will substitute this here. So I'm going to have negative 1 times 4 raised to the power of t and this equals 4. Now, don't forget the fact that if you have square root of negative 1, this equals imaginary number i. So if you take the squares, then this cancel this, so you have negative 1 equals i power 2. So that means we have negative 1 here. And we are going to replace it with i power 2. So we are now going to have i power 2 times 4 raised to the power of t. And this equals 4. Now the next thing we are going to do will be to make use of log. I take log of i power 2 times 4 raised to the power of t equals, I also take the log of 4. Now, if you consider this logarithm property, if you have log of a power b, this equals b times log a. So I will apply this property right here. That means the t will come behind the log. So I'm going to have t times log i power 2 times 4 equals log 4. So right now, at this particular point, we have something like log a times b. And if you have it like that, we are going to make use of this identity that is log a plus log b. So applying this identity right here, what you are simply going to have will be we have t times log i power 2 plus log 4 equals log 4. So this is like our a and this is like our b. So, what we are doing right now is solving for t. So, I can divide this by log i power 2 plus log 4. And this is divided by log i power 2 plus log 4. So, what happens here is that this cancel this. I'm going to have my t. So, I'm going to have t equals log 4 divided by log i power 2 plus log 4. Now, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the 2 here can easily come behind this. That means I have t equals log 4 divided by 2 times log i plus log 4. So here is it, our solution right now. Now let's consider the second method and let's check if we are going to have the same thing. So right now, I'm going to have negative 4 power t equals 4. And we are going to make use of the same trick that we used earlier on. This is negative 4. Negative 4 is just like writing negative 1 times 4. So I'm going to have negative 1 times 4 
raised to the power of t equals four. Now, remember if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a plus c times b power c. So applying this identity right here, I'm going to distribute this t to each of the terms right here. So I'm going to have negative one power t times four power t equals four. So right now, let's consider this Euler's identity. If you have e power i times pi plus one, and this equals zero, I simply move this over here. That means I'm going to have e power i times pi equals negative one. So negative one equals e power i times pi, and there's negative one here. So that means instead of writing this negative one, I'm going to have e power i times pi raised to the power of t, then this is times four power t, and this equals four. So if you have a power n raised to the power of m, this equals a power n times m. So I apply this right here. That means I'm simply going to have e power i times pi t times 4 power t equals 4. So what I'm going to do next will be to make use of natural log. I have natural log of e power i times pi t times 4 power t equals natural log of 4. Now, just like logarithm, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So, applying this property right here, I'm simply going to have natural log of e power i times pi t plus natural log of 4 power t, and this equals natural log of 4. And don't also forget this, that if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So the i pi t here will come behind this, and the t will come behind this. So that means I'm simply going to have i pi t times natural log of e plus t times natural log of 4, and this equals natural log of 4. So right now, this cancel this, I have i pi t plus t times natural log of 4 equals natural log of 4. And if you look at this, there's t here. And this t here, I can factor out t. This divided by t, I have i pi. Plus this divided by t, I have natural log of 4. And this equals natural log of 4. So at this point, I can decide to isolate t by dividing this by i times pi plus natural log of 4. And divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 4. So what happens here is that this cancel this and what I have is simply t equals natural log of 4 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 4. So here is it. This is the solution that we have gotten making use of this particular method. So ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten our solution. So it's actually the same thing. One is in respect to natural log, while the other one is in respect to log to the base of 10. So this was the first solution, log 4 divided by 2 log i plus log 4. And the Second solution using the method, other method is natural log of 4 
if I buy i pi plus natural log of 4. So it's the same thing. The only difference is just that this is i times pi, while this is 2 times log of i. So they are both correct irrespective of the method that you use. So that is it. I think that is how you can actually solve this. Thank you and see you again.